I'm Shannon from HomemadeLovely.com and today I'm going to talk to you about how to decorate a Christmas tree. Decorating a Christmas tree is our family's start to the holiday season. So today I'm going to show you how to decorate a Christmas tree in about six steps. So step one is to obviously pull out your tree and put it in its stand. If your tree happens to have seen better days and there's some gaps and holes in it, there is a trick that is really, really easy. Essentially, you just wind some more garland through there or add some stems and sprigs of greenery in the same sort of family as your faux tree and that should fill in any gaps as well. Step two is to light your tree. Now, if your tree is pre-lit, you can obviously skip this step. If your tree is not pre-lit or if you're having to light it because some of the bulbs have burnt out, about 100 mini lights per foot of tree is a good minimum for how many lights you need. Step three is to add in any berry sprigs or twigs or branches that you want to add in to help fill out your tree and add some interest. This is something I've done for the last few years and it is one of my most favorite parts of decorating the tree because it just adds such a beautiful designer sort of look to it and if you collect your sprigs and twigs over time and buy them on sale after the holidays it's a very inexpensive way to add a really nice look to your tree. Next is to add any ribbons that you're going to add to the tree. Ribbons are also an inexpensive way to add color and texture and if you happen to change the color theme or the style that you go with from year to year, ribbons are a really, really great way to do this. So there are all kinds of ways to do it. You can tie bows, you can make them curly and just hang them with curls. You can wind them in and out of the branches, kind of look like they're water falling down the tree. If you wanna have curled ribbon or ribbon that really sticks in the branches, you'll wanna get wired ribbon because it can be bent and formed into shape and will stay in your tree much better than regular ribbon. Step four is to add any big, bold ornaments that you love. Step five is to add any multiples of ornaments that you have. Those get hung up after the large ornaments because you're gonna wanna space them out as well. So you would do things like uh, if you have a collection of all red Christmas balls or anything else that you have a large number of or a large quantity of, you wanna space those out on the tree after the really large ornaments. With any spaces that are left, you can hang up a random ornament. Once all your ornaments and ribbons and sprigs and sprays are in place, you'll wanna do a quick vacuum and tidy up around the base of the tree. And then lay down your tree skirt or whatever it is that you put down at the base of your tree. And now you have a fully decorated tree. For more Christmas and holiday ideas, make sure you visit homemadelovely.com.